This is for all of you with knee pain or patellar tendinitis. We're gonna give you some gentle exercises that are gonna help. We're gonna start off with a kneecap mobilization. So moving your kneecap side to side. So we're gonna start with that right leg, gently placing your fingertips on your kneecap. Avoid lifting it up. Just keep that pressure gentle and consistent. This gentle mobilization is gonna help the mobility of your patella or your kneecap um, in the groove that it's in, kind of reducing some of that stiffness around the knee joint. That mobility that you're gonna get is gonna reduce some of the pressure on your patellar tendon, so it'll help your kneecap track more smoothly while you're doing your normal activities. You might see me moving it up and down. If you are ready for that, you can do up and down and side to side. But if you're still in pain, I would just stick with side to side, keeping it very gentle. Up next we have side lying quad stretch. So we're going to uh, lie on your side with your knees and hips stacked. You're gonna hold the ankle of your top leg and just gently pull it towards your glutes. Now you wanna avoid overarching your back. Um, just try to feel that stretch in the front of your thigh. The reason that we're doing this is that tight quadriceps can pull on your patellar tendon so it can increase some of that stress. So we're just releasing some of the quad tension that you might have might help relieve some of the strain on your patellar tendon. Next we have the ATG split squat, either on a bench or a step. You could even do it on the ground if you have the mobility. So we're gonna set in a sit spl split stance and you're gonna put your front foot on the step, your back heel lifted. You're gonna bend your front knee, allowing your back knee to come closer to the floor. So you wanna keep your front knee aligned with your midfoot and maintain an upright torso. So you're gonna feel a stretch in the legs, quad and hip flexor. It's gonna feel really, really good. And this is gonna help emphasize the eccentric or lengthening of the quadriceps, which is gonna help potentially reduce some of the pain in your patellar tendon because you can improve some of that eccentric um, quad contraction, improving that muscular control. And it'll help you handle some of the loads that you're under, even if it's just your body weight more efficiently and hopefully minimize the strain on your tendon. Since it also stretches the hip flexors and builds some stability there, it will help support the knee in more dynamic movements.
last but not least, we have the Spanish wall sit. So we're gonna do this with a band. It's gonna be an isometric hold. So think about the opposite of a wall sit on a wall. You're basically gonna be doing an isometric so that you can help strengthen the quadriceps without knee motion. So this is going to help them be more effective because with tendonitis, that's when you've aggravated your tendon. So you're gonna help build quad endurance with an isometric and that's gonna help give you some stability um, and help you load um, without you know, having any pain or further irritation. So just sit back as you would in a normal wall sit. Try not to hinge too much of the hips you know, feet just shoulder width apart and try to hold it, engage your core, press slightly outwardly through your knees, just inhale, exhale, and try to stay relaxed as you hold this for 45 seconds. If you wanna repeat this, you know, four to five times, you can really, really build up some strong endurance here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you got something out of this and that your knee is feeling a little bit better.